So in terms of the learning objectives, you need to be able to outline where glycolysis fits into the whole process of respiration, describe the main stages of glycolysis and its products, explain why energy is released by respiration in the absence of oxygen, explain how ethanol is produced in anaerobic respiration, and explain how lactate is produced by anaerobic respiration. <clears throat> so in terms of the learning objectives for today, we will be looking at the glycolysis and we will be looking at the uh, anaerobic respiration. So uh, in the part where there is no oxygen. So starting with the overview, where does it actually take place? So glycolysis, which is the first step of the respiration for both aerobic and anaerobic a pathway glycolysis is taking place in the cytoplasm. Link reaction then and a Krebs cycle are taking place in matrix of the mitochondria and finally ETC, electron transfer chain, it's taking place in the crystal, so in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. So uh, Starting with the glycolysis, which is the first step of the, uh, of the respiration, it takes place in the cytoplasm. So remember, cytoplasm, not mitochondria. So coming back to the uh, coenzymes, as we've seen them in the um, photosynthesis, we've got uh, two main coenzymes in the process of respiration. We've got NAD, so remember it's not NADP as it was in photosynthesis, it's NAD, and you also will see FAD. So those coenzymes still can be oxidized or reduced. So uh, remember, same idea as in photosynthesis. Glycolysis in the cytoplasm, the process of glycolysis as the term says, it's the process of splitting of glucose. And the, pro, the main product, the final product of this splitting are two molecules of pyruvate. Okay, so glycolysis is taking place in the cytoplasm. It's an initial stage for both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. And it's the reaction that uh, involves enzymes. So this is the overview of, um, of glycolysis. So starting with the top of the diagram, we are starting with glucose, because obviously the glycolysis, the substrate for glycolysis is uh, glucose. So glucose, we've got six carbon atoms. And as you can see on the first step of this process, the glucose will get phosphorylated. What is the phosphorylation? Phosphorylation is the addition of inorganic phosphate. Where is this inorganic phosphate coming from? Of course, it's coming from the hydrolysis of ATP. So here we need two molecules of ATP. Okay, they will be hydrolyzed. So uh, we will add an inorganic phosphate from those two uh, ATP molecules to this glucose. Why would you do it? Well, to make it more reactive, okay? So uh, you're using two phosphates from the hydrolysis of two ATP molecules to make glucose more reactive. So once this glucose is now reactive, I got phosphates, it's called phosphorylated glucose, uh, it's, got, uh, 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 it's got this ability for enzymes, okay, to work on because glucose is activated and the uh, activation energy for enzymes has been lowered. So what happens to this glucose then? Glucose is then uh, split, okay, so as you can see on stage two, 
the phosphorylated glucose is split into triophosphate. We came across triophosphate in the um, like independent reaction. So triophosphate molecule, we've got two of those now, and each of them contains three carbons. Okay, so we split phosphorylated glucose into two triophosphate molecules. What happens next in stage three and four? Uh, from those triophosphates, we are going to get pyruvate. So pyruvate is our final product. How do we get it? Well, let's have a look firstly on the, on the process here. So firstly, what happens is the oxidation of triophosphate. What, where is this oxidation coming from? Well, can you see those two hydrogen ions? Those two hydrogen ions are lost from triophosphate. So, in other words, triophosphate is oxidized. Why do we need those hydrogen ions? We need them for the reduction of NAD. So, remember, once one thing is oxidized, in this case, triophosphate is oxidized, cleanse and NAD, it's going to be reduced. It's going to accept those hydrogens. Okay, so we're getting uh, reduced NAD. So, apart from this process of reduction, we are also looking at the production of ATP because that's the main aspect of respiration. So, uh, we are going to produce ATP. Okay, so ATP is going to be regenerated from ADP and inorganic phosphate. So, in in fact, we are going to uh, regenerate four molecules of ATP, okay? So those four molecules are now um, regenerated. So what do we have here as the product of glycolysis? So we've got two molecules of a pyruvate. Pyruvate is an acid. We've got reduced NAD. And the final production of ATP, it's actually only two molecules because in a stage four, we've produced four ATP molecules. But in a stage one, we've used two. So easy maps here, four minus two gives you two. Okay, so we've got net production of two ATP molecules. We've got two molecules of reduced NAD, which carries hydrogens, and we've got two molecules of pyruvate. So, uh, what happens then if there is no oxygen? If there is no oxygen, this pyruvate then is not going to go through the next stages of the aerobic respiration. It's going to undergo anaerobic respiration. So, uh, products of glycolysis, okay, in a situation where we're going to run out of NAD without the regeneration of this NAD, we will not, uh, uh, we will not have the next stages of aerobic respiration, okay. So uh, what happens here, this pyruvate is going to undergo the uh, fermentation. So it's going to turn into ethanol or lactate. So how does it actually work? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so uh, without the oxygen, we are going to have a look at the production of lactate ethanol. Okay, we call this lactic acid fermentation or alcohol fermentation, okay? So, good thing is, there are only two equations you need to remember. Those equations always give you marks on your exam. So the fermentation in the bacteria or yeast, it's uh, the fact that pyruvate is uh, converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide, and you reduce NAD, it's now oxidized. Okay, so this equation that you've got now in the front of your eyes gives you two marks. 
then the fermentation in animals it's going to use of course the pyruvate to reduce NAD but as a final product we've got lactic acid okay so when can we actually come back to the aerobic respiration uh, in the in the uh, moment where your body will have oxygen if there is no oxygen not enough oxygen the uh, process will only take place in the cytoplasm so the glycolysis and fermentation will take place 